This video will show the most common Ethereum error and how to fix it. My name is Hakim and I'm a Web3 developer working for eBay and my mission is to help you with Web3 development. So let's begin. So first of all, let's go over what the blockchain is. All it is is a large database that's responsible for every transaction that's happened since its, since its inception. And the most popular blockchain by far and by activity is Ethereum. Now Ethereum uses smart contracts which are sets of instructions that keep record of who owns what. And a good analogy of blockchain is imagine you're playing chess and you don't trust the other person. So instead you play a virtual game of chess on a virtual chessboard and every single movement is recorded permanently and publicly visible to everyone playing the game. That's the blockchain. So the blockchain just makes everything publicly, vis publicly visible. And smart contracts are the predefined set of rules to that chess game. And as a Web3 developer, or even just a Web3 user, you need to be aware of how the game works. So in this video, I'll show you the most common problem you're gonna face, which is out of gas. Ethereum relies on gas, which is just computational power needed to perform transactions. Why? This is to prevent malicious actors from filling up the blocks and spamming the network so no one else could use it. Now, the gas limit is what you're willing to pay per transaction. And the gas block limit is how much gas a given block on the blockchain can handle before the next one is issued. And ever since EIP 1559, the limit increased from 15 to 30 million gas. To put that into perspective, the average transaction is about 21,000 gas units, so it can hold a fair amount of transactions. So the out of gas error is determined by two things. The complexity of the contract call itself and the gas limit of the current block so if it exceeds 15 million, so the target is 15 million, if it exceeds that, then the amount of gas required, and therefore the gas limit will be much higher. Whereas if it's lower, it will be normal. So as you can see, I've got a remix editor right here, and we have this out of gas contract that I've made. Now don't worry about what's actually happening. This is just a mock function that will simulate um, when you would get an out of gas error. So we have this storage array here of unsigned positive integers. So just any, any number, so any positive number can go in here. And we have this append data function that we can pass through uh, and a dynamic array. So this, it has no fixed length. We don't know how much data is going to be passed through and therefore how much gas will be used. Now, this is what happens during the out of gas error. We don't know how many, uh, we can't predict. So MetaMask can't predict how much gas needs to be used for this contract call. Because in this example, it's just one function calling a, a for loop and that's it. But this could easily be a call to another contract. For example, let's say you're using a decentralized exchange like Uniswap or OneInch where there's multiple contracts involved, multiple function calls, and it's hard to estimate the gas. But I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So I'm gonna to switch to the injector provider, which would be MetaMask, and I will deploy this contract. Oh, whoops, is on, <clears throat> I'm on mainnet, let me switch to Goerli. Now we're on Goerli testnet, so let's deploy. That's great, so now we have it deployed and we can see it cost us. What I'm gonna do in Remix, you can open up this contract here and, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass through just the number one inside of an array because remember it accepts an array of positive integers. So one and then we hit append. Right, now, so we can see here, this is estimated gas, but if we head over to here, click on advanced, we can see the gas limit is 68,000 as opposed to the usual 21,000. 
Now, this is because MetaMask is able to deduce the estimated gas based on the bytecode of the deploy contracts that we just deployed. Now, let's say MetaMask didn't know that and we put in something like 25,000. As you can see here, we have this error text, so it must exceed 21,000 or be less than 792,000. So let's put in 25,000, hit save, hit confirm. Head over to Etherscan. Let's wait for this to pend. As you can see, we have the error out of gas. And of course that happened because I lowered the gas limit way below 65,000 or whatever it said on MetaMask. Let's call the same function call again. If MetaMask can't estimate correctly and you're getting out of gas errors, the best thing to do really is to just manually set an arbitrarily high gas limit. So if 25,000 doesn't do the trick, you would try something like 100,000. Obviously on mainnet, you'll be charged real money for this. So you'll want to check the actual um, dollar value. But for now, let's hit confirm and success. When the computation of power is unknown or MetaMask can't detect the estimated gas, you need to manually increase the gas limit to maybe three to four, like three to five times the original amount and obviously judge the dollar value yourself. This will increase the likelihood that your transaction will go through, but it still does not guarantee it will be included within the next block, especially if the network is busy. Thanks for watching. For more Web3 content, check out my recent video on how to write and deploy an NFT contract.